I work as the Chief Strategist for Security Services for our Services Division. And from a professional development point of view, it gives you an opportunity to um, not only participate, it actually influence into the international standards. The TOGAF SAPSA paper was one of the papers, white papers that we published last year in November. It was a practical guidance that did mapping between the TOGAF standard and the SAPSA, which is specific in the security space. So we're giving practical advice to our members and um, other users in the community. So SAPSA is the Sherwood Applied Business Security Architecture, and it was a project that the Open Group, specifically two of the forums, the Security Forum and the Architect Forum, worked with this external group to bring together this guidance around a security modeling uh, methodology. The, the TOGAF architecture in its current instance doesn't have the prescriptive definition for security architecture and in doing this mapping in this white paper it gives um, practical guidance to users in the field. Here one of our key activities are going to be the TOGAF Next where we are going to participate directly in embedding a security architecture into the TOGAF framework so that it's a, a part of every architect's responsibility, not something that's bolted on on the end.